All right, my friends, the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. This is going to be an honest review of this brand new flagship phablet device from Samsung. I apologize for the delay in reviewing this phone. It's just taking me a while to get my hands on one. Uh, this is going to be a fanboy free look at this brand new 5.7 inch device from the guys at Samsung. So stay tuned. All right, jumping right into the hardware. Well, this is a beast of a phone. Like I said, 5.7 inch display, um, an insane number of pixels, 1440 by 2560, giving you a resolution of 515 pixels per inch. Um, it's a Gorilla Glass 4 display, so it should be pretty uh, robust to drops and, and uh, cracks. Um, it, they, Samsung has totally changed the sort of out, uh, outer casing and design of the phone. They've decided to use a metal sort of ring around the edge, which is really nice. It's a nice upgrade. Um, although Samsung is great at copying Apple, and this does look a lot like an iPhone 5 and 5S here with that chamfered metal edge. Um, so they've taken a design cue there from the Apple iPhone. Uh, the back is still plastic and definitely does still give you that kind of creaky, flimsy, plasticky Samsung junk uh, that they're typical for making. Um, but overall, the phone does sort of feel and look really nice. It's a nice upgrade um, from the traditional sort of build and, and design of the Note series. So I do think that they've done a really good job in sort of improving uh, the Note here in the Note 4. I think uh, it's a joy to hold on to. It feels really good in your hand. The weight is sort of well balanced. The fit and finish is clean and nice. Uh, and it's a really, really great design improvement over the previous generation. Phone does have a fingerprint scanner here in the bottom or in the home button, which uh, is really nice to use. Makes it rather easy to get into the phone. Uh, it does require two hands because you, you're not going to be able to reach down with your thumb and go sideways. You're going to have to hold the phone in one hand and either use a second finger or a second thumb to get in. Uh, 16 megapixel rear camera with optical image stabilization is nice. We have a heart rate sensor here built into the flash unit, which is also really nice. Uh, speaker on the bottom, which in my opinion is not very nice. This uh, ends up projecting the sound down either your, into your hand or down into the material that the phone is resting on. Uh, HTC, I think, and Motorola have a better design with the speaker sort of facing out towards the user. Um, S Pen is built into the phone just as previous. Uh, slides in and out rather easily. There's not really any hesitation there. It does feel solid. It doesn't feel like it's going to you know, drop out of the phone at any point in time. Uh, you get a nice little vibration and uh, vi um, sound when you pull the S Pen out of the phone. Uh, other, spe other facts or specs on the phone itself it has a 3200 milliamp hour battery which is really nice um, rather large when you consider how big the size and screen size of the phone is uh, battery life tests on this guy have been really positive uh, people have said the battery lasts uh, you know upwards of one day at certainly one day sometimes uh, even more a day and a half or two days depending on how much you use the phone other interesting points about the hardware and specs of the phone um, it does offer expandable storage, which is nice. You peel the back cover off here, and uh, you have a slot for micro SD, which is great. Um, the phone does not have the waterproofing. You don't see that seal here like you do in the Galaxy S5, so that's kind of a drawback uh, in terms of not having the phone to be sealed against the elements like in the uh, S5 series. Um, so that's kind of something to think about if you're planning on taking the phone sort of out in the rain or outdoors. Uh, it's definitely not waterproof, and so you're going to have to cover it up. Um, front facing camera, you know, I think it's a three megapixel shooter, um, you know, get your selfies on, <laughs> but, uh, otherwise, you know, the phone is typical of other Samsung flagship phones that you've seen in the past. They, you know, we're sort of slowing down here in terms of what we're seeing get put into phones. I mean, yeah, it's got a new quad core processor and, you know, more Ram and whatever. And, you know, the, the software is still touch whiz. And so you, you're not really seeing a whole lot of developments, um, in terms of the technology that are put into these phones. Granted, you're seeing design improvements. Like I said, the, you know, the body is now aluminum, which is nice. Uh, the screen is, is stunning. Um, and so you're seeing an, an improved design and an improved product, but it's marginal. It's very, very small compared to like, say the note three or even the note two, for example, um, you know, big phone, fast, uh, great, sort of feature set, you know, nice uh, S Pen sort of features, and we'll get into that here in a second. Um, but when you're considering this over, say, the Note 3, there's really not a whole lot of improvement. Um, I mean, sure, there's things that have been improved, but in terms of the overall improvement, like if you were to compare this to a Note 1, it's a huge difference, uh, you know, but from the, we're getting smaller and smaller sort of incremental improvements here in design and feature set.
let's jump in and talk about what's great about this phone. Well, first of all, when you pick it up, the screen is just phenomenal. I mean, that's what jumps out at you right away. The screen, like I said, 5.7 inches, and uh, it's super AMOLED, um, so it's just vibrant and colorful and bright and in your face and just really, really sharp and stunning to look at. I mean, every time you look at this phone, your eyes are just sort of like, oh, man, <laughs> what am I looking at? It's like a mini HD TV in your hands. Um, and that's definitely the best part of this phone. Uh, the, the absolute best part is the screen. Um, it's just really, really, really nice to use, nice to look at, really pleasant, um, great color accuracy, great contrast, great sharpness, great blacks, you know, just great. The screen is fantastic. Um, other things I really like about the phone are it's super fast. I haven't noticed any lag anywhere, which is really nice. TouchWiz is definitely sort of a laggy uh, skin on top of Android, and you'll notice that like a lot of the other Samsungs will suffer from uh, lag in terms of TouchWiz, but the Note series has always had a really good clock, for, you know, chipset clocked at the right speed, uh, good software features, and so it tends to not show any signs of lag, um, which is really, really nice. Other aspects of the phone that I really like, fingerprint sensor works really well. Um, again, it is a two-handed fingerprint sensor, so if you compare that to like the, the uh, Touch ID on the iPhone, it might be a little bit more cumbersome to use um, on the Note series given the size of the phone um, and the fact that you have to use two hands to do it. The S Pen is something that I think um, is a very feature-rich and very awesome part of this device. Uh, you know, I'm not going to talk a whole lot about what each of these buttons do. I mean, you can experiment with that when you get the phone. But the point of the S Pen is that A, you can use it to write on the device, and B, you can use it to capture things on the device. So like you see here, we have uh, Action Memo, Smart Select, Image Clip, and Screen Write. And so obviously, you know, you want to get in here and play around with all these when you get your Note 4. But for an example, we'll just do an Action Memo. And something that's really cool about the Action Memo is you can actually write stuff down and then do things with it. So like if I go here and I write a phone number, let's just say um, 888. One, two, three, four, four, six, four. And then I go to link to action. It's going to recognize it and I'll say call. And boom, it's going to dial it for you. And so it's really handy to have that. And you know, what's really cool to talk about with this phone is that the handwriting recognition and the S Pen sort of, um, the way the S Pen is picked up on the screen and how it can, the, the sort of pressure sensitive um, abilities of it and just how stuff is thicker, the harder you press and lighter, the lighter you press is really accurate and is really, really, really cool. I mean, I love the pen feature in this. It's just, I don't know if I'd ever use it. I think for most people, it's probably a little bit gimmicky. Um, obviously, if you're a professional and you're in a boardroom and you want to take notes and you want a sort of a one, you know, you don't want to have to carry a pen and paper, this is fantastic. I mean, I think this would come in very, very, very useful. Uh, but for the average user that is not sitting in a boardroom and, you know, just wants to doodle, I don't know how useful it is. I mean, it's something to play around with when you're kind of trying to waste time, but otherwise I don't really know if people are going to use it that often. But the key is, is that it does work surprisingly well and it's really sort of fun um, to play around with. So getting away from kind of the S Pen uh, feature of the Note 4, we're going to talk more about stuff that I do like. The camera in this thing is fantastic. Uh, again, 16 megapixel optical image stabilization, super fast, super sharp resolution photos, um, just great image quality. I mean, this, the camera in this phone is probably one of the nicest things short of the screen. Uh, you know, excellent, excellent images, excellent, excellent video quality. Um, Galaxies have always had pretty awesome cameras, and the Note 4 definitely doesn't fall short in that same regard. Other parts of the phone that I really like, um, well, first of all, it's a removable battery, which is pretty great. Um, even though I don't like the plastic flimsy back on this thing, removable battery is really nice to have if you're on the go and you want to change your battery out. Uh, removable storage is also really nice if you want to keep your photos and videos and other data on here. You can easily eject that and take it out if you'd like. Um, uh, I guess, you know, the final sort of point I talk, I'm going to talk about about um, what I do like about the phone is that it just feels put together. You know, I think that a lot of times Samsung's feel kind of disjointed in their software and in their hardware. Everything's kind of thrown together just to see what sticks. And I think that like, finally, they've created a device that um, is a solid performer. Um, the, uh, you know, the physical performance of the phone is great. Uh, the physical sort of fit and finish of the phone is great. The software that they have on in there is really, I think, nice to use. Um, fingerprint scanner is nice to have. S Pen functionality is is great and is a, you know, added benefit. Um, S Pen can be, be tucked away if you choose not to use it, you know. And so, I really think Samsung has a quality device here that they finally have gotten to market that is refined and can be used and appreciated by everybody, whether you're a business business professional or just want or just somebody that wants kind of, you know, 
uh, a device that's large and, and a great screen and, and, you know, great camera and has everything that you want in a cell phone, smartphone, phablet, uh, you know, that um, <laughs> can get you through every day on its battery life, you know, one battery charge, um, something that's great to use and that, you know, looks, feels and runs smooth and that gives you a great user experience. Um, so to sort of end my rant in terms of what I sort of like about the phone, I'm going to talk now about kind of what I don't like about the phone. Um, which always gets the fanboys here and it ties their panties in a knot. Um, first of all, the you know the the fact that like we're still dealing with like plastic cheap components, um, you know this just this just ruins it for me. I mean this is like trash. <laughs> I mean it's like you can sort of break this. It feels like paper. Uh, you know I mean this you know this phone was seven hundred dollars. Like I'm not gonna want to spend seven hundred dollars on something that feels totally flimsy totally cheap you know you compare this to an iphone uh six plus with its kind of unibody aluminum construction and um this doesn't stand you know <laughs> a chance compared to that um that's probably the biggest thing is the, is the overall build sort of feel that kind of bugs me um the other thing i really don't like about this phone is touch Wiz really needs to go away um the blips the bloops the sort of like you know touch Wiz sounds and pops and gimmicks and like you know, it's just a little bit over the top and it's tired and it's old and Samsung needs to get rid of it or change it or do something. Um, the other thing I'm really not a fan of on this phone is all the bloatware. I don't want Galaxy apps. I don't want S everything, S health, S this, S, you know, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> I would prefer a much more clean sort of stock Android look and feel. I mean, obviously I want S Pen functions, you know, I think that is the biggest thing that you would need in this phone um, is sort of the suite of S applications for the pen. But I don't need S Voice when I have Google Now. I mean, that's a classic example of Samsung bloatware that just ruins my my experience with this phone. You know, it's like, why? Why? Google Now is so awesome. I don't want Samsung's crapware on this phone. Um, and then sort of the other thing, the other final thing that I don't really like about this phone, and this, you know, my argument's getting weaker and weaker as the day goes by, but I swear it'll change here in the next couple of years is that I'm really tired of huge devices. You know, this is a phablet. This is 5.7 inches. I have average size male hands. I forget what my finger length is, 7.4 inches or something. But anyway, my hand is pretty much average. And this is a two-handed phablet. You know, it's a two-handed device. You can barely reach any, you know, the top corner and the bottom corner. You have to shuffle the phone around and it gets, you know, lost and then you drop it. And um, Anyway, I would much prefer people like Samsung to put top end specs, you know, so why can't you have a Note 4 and a Note 4 Mini or a Note 4 regular? Um, you know, it doesn't have to have the S Pen. It could have all the great features of the Note um, or maybe even throw the S Pen in. Anyway, follow maybe what Apple has done in terms of their big phone and small phone, but they both have the same specs. They're both top end phones. Sony did the same thing with the Xperia Z3 and the Xperia Z3 Compact. Um, I really appreciate companies that do that, Apple and Sony mostly, um, that are throwing their sort of flagship specs in two sizes. And so for people that have larger hands, and I'm not discounting their argument for wanting a bigger screen phone, but for people that have average hands or smaller hands they might want something a little bit smaller they might want to have the same flagship specs but in a little bit smaller device that they can easily fit into their pants um, and that they can easily hold on to with one hand and so you guys have heard me talk you know a lot about the size of phones and how they're growing and getting a little bit ridiculous um, I think we're gonna see a, a sort of surge back down into smaller phones or maybe not smaller phones but just phones that are a little bit more compact or at least two phones one that's you know flagship that's big and a flagship that's small I think a lot of people will follow Apple's lead uh, in that regard and make phones that are kind of better suited to fit everybody rather than just the larger handed population. So in closing, what are my sort of final thoughts on this phone? Well, it's really weird because I have really mixed sort of feelings about this. Every time I pick up this phone, you know, and the screen's dark and I turn it on and I hold it in my hand, I'm just like, I'm just blown away. I'm just like, wow, this thing is fan freaking tastic. Um, the screen, like I said, is is phenomenal um the speed of the device is phenomenal the fit and the finish and the feel of it is just fantastic i love holding this phone and i love using this phone where things start to change for me and what makes me sort of put it down um, and not use it is just the sheer size uh, person again this is all personal opinion i would rather have a phone that is a little bit smaller that i can easily fit into my pants pockets or into my you know jacket pocket or into my front pocket that doesn't feel so big um again 
this phone is thin. It is, I forget the spec on the size, but it's, you know, it's a thin phone. It doesn't feel like a brick. It, it feels really great in your hand. It's just too big for me to use one handed. And for me, that's a deal breaker. Um, I personally need to be able to have a phone that I can be, you know, so an example is I'll be using the mouse on my computer, right? Or on the desktop. And I want to be able to pick up the phone and do something with it while I'm watching the screen and doing other things. And so I like to multitask, right? And I just physically can't reach certain things on this phone and so I have to use two hands and that stops me from being able to multitask effectively. Um, another example is if I'm walking down the street and I have you know my dog leash in one hand or my coffee cup in one hand and I want to do something on the phone in the other hand I can't because like I have to like stop and like put the coffee between my legs or like hold on to the dog with my legs and then use two hands on the phone and so for me that's a deal breaker I really 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 need a phone that I can use effectively with one hand um, but again enough of my rant on one handedness you guys have heard that countless times <laughs> in all of my videos um, so anyway sort of final point is feel free to check out this phone I think it's fantastic I think it's a well-deserved buy, uh, either unlocked or on contract from your favorite carrier. I got this phone on Amazon.com. I think I paid 700 bucks for it, and it is worth every penny. Uh, fantastic device from Samsung. Hope you guys enjoyed this honest review. Don't forget to check out everything else I have on YouTube, and rate, comment, and subscribe.